Good morning, John Marshall. I'm Angelina Hott. And I'm Mr. Parsons. Here are the morning announcements for Friday, March 8, 2024. Juniors and seniors who are attending prom and plan to bring a non-John Marshall student as your guest will need to pick up an outside guest form. These forms can be picked up from either Mrs. Gary in room 309 or Mr. Gary in room 344. You will need to have this form filled out and turned back in before a prom ticket will be issued to you. Prom will be held at the White Palace on April 20th. Only John Marshall juniors, seniors, and approved guests who are a junior, senior, or graduate up to 20 are eligible to attend. Tickets will go on sale the week of March 25th and will be $25 for juniors and outside guests. Seniors may attend for free but still need to come and request a ticket in order to attend. No tickets will be sold before March 25th or April, after April 5th. Any questions may be directed to either Mr. or Mrs. Gary. The Student Council will be hosting Evening with the Easter Bunny on Friday, March 22nd for younger children in the area. The event will run from 5 to 8 p.m. and will be held on the main floor near the Commons area. Anyone interested can visit johnmarshallcte.org slash student-council to buy tickets. Congratulations to the John Marshall Robotics Team. All T3 teams have qualified for the state championship at Fairmont State University. Teams 26038D Prometheus, 26038F Cowabunga, and 26038G 9.5 Piece Nuggets will be competing on March 10th and 11th. The live stream will be on twitch.tv slash WV Robot. If you are interested in joining the robotics team, join the program for the 2024-25 school year and please see Mr. Sims at cole.sims at k12.wv.us. Seniors, the final deadline to submit pictures for the senior slideshow that will play before the graduation ceremony at Monarch Stadium is quickly approaching. As a reminder, you should submit one baby picture and one senior picture or recent picture to Mrs. McElhaney by today, Friday, March 8th. Please note that this is the final deadline and pictures must be turned in by this date. Only digital copies will be accepted and can be sent via email to carly.mcelhaney at k12.wv.us. If you don't have a digital copy, please take a picture of the physical copy to send in via email. Again, the final deadline for submission is today, March 8th. Please note that once you email your pictures, you will get a response with confirmation that the pictures have been received within 48 hours. If you do not receive a confirmation within that time, please see Mrs. McElhaney in room 117. The JMHS choirs are raising money to purchase new choir robes. Please use this QR code to make donations and share on your social media. Attention junior and senior girls attending prom this year. The Ladies League of Marshall County will hold its annual Cinderella project, which offers prom dresses from size 0 to 24, jewelry, shoes, purses, and more for all for free. The event will be held tomorrow, Saturday, March 9th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Calvary United Methodist Church in Moundsville. You must bring your student ID or driver's license to attend the event. If you have any questions about the event, please see Mrs. Robbins in room 366. Applications are now available for the John Marshall Trust Fund scholarships. These include service-based, performance-based, and need-based scholarships. For a complete list of scholarships or to apply, visit the guidance office or the John Marshall High School website. You may also receive one by emailing members of the Trust Fund Committee or your counselor. Application deadlines are Monday, March 25th at noon. Now let's check in with Mrs. Loafman who has today's solar eclipse facts. Hi Monarchs! The lighter portion of the shadow on the Earth created when the moon blocks the sun during a solar eclipse is called the penumbra. The part of Earth that is in the penumbra will see a partial solar eclipse meaning that the sun will only be partially blocked. On April 8th, here at JM, this is what we will experience, with approximately 97% of the sun being blocked. That concludes this week's solar eclipse facts. Be sure to scan the QR code on your screen to answer questions and be entered for a chance to win a prize. Winners will be announced next Tuesday, March 12th. Now let's take a look at this weekend's events. 
Today, the JV and varsity baseball teams will scrimmage Payton City at Monarch Baseball Field. The games will begin at 5 p.m. Meanwhile, the boys lacrosse team will take the road to play St. Albans. The match is set to begin at 7.30 p.m. For a complete list of events, check out the Athletics tab of the John Marshall High School website. Now let's take a look at today's lunch menu. Both Monarch Lane and Pride Alley will have quesadillas. In the hot sandwich line, you can get a grilled cheese sandwich. The cold sandwich line will offer a buffalo chicken roll-up. There will also be a pizza variety offered in the pizza line. Today's salad entree will be a chef's salad. Sides offered today include tomato soup, goldfish crackers, corn, harvest blend vegetables, sliced chilled pears, and a salad bar. Thank you for watching the morning announcements. I'm Angelina Hutt. And I'm Mr. Parsons. Have a great day, Monarchs. Roll Pride.